Hello, I'm Errol at home and I'm using the water candle technique to create a goblet of Firestar candle. It's important to make sure the taper is secured well to the bowl so that it doesn't slip off in the water. While the wax was setting, I polished an old silver cup I'd bought for this candle. What you can't see due to the poor lighting, sorry, is yellow, orange and red wax poured down the side of the jug. I was hoping to get graduated flames, but the colours mixed up too well and came out orange. It takes a bit of practice to coordinate the speed of the pouring with the speed of dipping the candle into the cold water, and I haven't made one of these for a while, so there was a relearning curve. The water needs to be tipped out each time, or the next layer of wax won't stick well. The wax is easily broken off if it's not quite going to plan. Fortunately, the wax can be melted again. It's also important to try to keep the hot wax away from your fingers, but if not, there's cold water right there and it peels off easily if your hands are already wet. Once I'd poured on a base of the orange flames, I started pouring the colours on separately and tried to create a balance of shapes and colours. I had the different colours of wax in silicon dishes, entrees in the oven at 70 degrees Celsius, then poured them into the jugs just before using them. The original taper and the wax I set it in, in the bowl, is uncoloured Capping's beeswax. For the yellow flames, I used one square of sunflower yellow candle dye to one and a half kilos of beeswax. For the orange flames, I used one square of orange candle dye to one kilo of wax. And for the red flames, I used one square of red candle dye to one kilo of wax. The reason I used yellow dye is that the pollen, which gives natural beeswax its colour, can fade with light over time to a pale beige, and I wanted the flames to stay bright yellow. Although I didn't film it, I did spend time removing the most fragile bits and shaping it until it looked more balanced and made sure that the wick was visible. This candle took about a kilo of beeswax. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Here are a few more that you may like. 